Since my husband uh, is still out of the house trying to get better and um, after his surgery I've been doing chores in the morning and at night and sometimes at night I leave it up to the kids to put the animals in when I know that in the morning I check for minerals I put plenty of hay for them those things that are really important and I don't want them to go without there's not much to do at night um, if I already did the bigger chores which is filling up water and that kind of thing in the morning you do chores in the morning you do chores at night and then the animals take care of themselves today was the exception I came in the morning did chores took care of everyone and then when I went to run some errands buy some feed when I came back I heard this weird noise it was like a, an animal calling but not the one that I'm used to hearing from any of my goats not the boys or the girls to be honest in the beginning I thought it was an animal that was around and not really our animals but my husband got out of the truck and said mm, I don't wonder what that is so he got close to the boys and it was Taz, our little six month old buckling, he was screaming but it was such a horrible scream that you could tell that he was asking for help. Now I didn't record that because I ran to the buck pen and I checked on Taz to see what was going on. He has no horns so I knew he couldn't have gotten stuck in the fence because of the type of fence that it is. But I had no idea that he could do what he this did. This morning while I was in here, one of the kids did chores for me and left one of these things unhooked. And Taz managed to uh, bite it. And when I came back, I heard him screaming in a very distinctive way. I don't know if you can see it right now, but this side over here, it's all swollen his what left side because this thing uh, hooked into his the inside of his mouth and he was so desperate not only him but all the girls but all the girls who were there they were all by the fence screaming see that's a normal crying but the way he was crying, he seemed like a different kind of animal and it was just because who knows for how long he was stuck. Now I think it was not only traumatizing for Taz really, but for the rest of the herd. The girls were sitting by the fence looking to uh, the back pen and um, it was just heartbreaking to see how everyone was so scared for him and you could tell that he was at that point very desperate and when he put that hook in his mouth and he's trying or he started chewing through it I'm sure that at some point he wanted to remove his head like from where it was and kind of let go of that let go of that hook but it got stuck inside on the inside of his mouth on his left side so right here so when I got to him there was no no blood but I could see how it was stuck inside in a way that it kind of hooked in a way that I had to maneuver a little bit in order not to cut the inside of his mouth however at that point he was salivating so much that you know all this side of his face was really really wet and I tried to take in some hay and some other things to kind of comfort him but today's been a really tough day for him and the bucks are acting super super mean to each other and Rocky is just having one of those moments where he wants to mount every single thing that moves and it's really getting to Taz um, he's been kind of bullying him out of the food bullying him out of the 
their sleeping area, and I don't know what really is going on with Rocky, but he's really not being kind of、uh, a good buddy to little Taz. So I brought some fresh hay to comfort him, but Rocky's being extra mini today. He seems to be doing just fine. What I saw it was a lot of. He still does have it. If you see it, it's wet. It's okay, baby. It's okay, love. Why stop it, rocks? You're so mean. Hi, Duke. Is your brother molesting you? I'm sorry, Duke. Is your brother being a mini to you, love? I'm sorry. I know it's tough being at the weather, huh? Is it super hard? Leave your brother alone! No, I don't. I don't want that. Stop it. No, it's a hundred percent normal for that to happen because he's the little boy. He's the underdog and all that stuff, but. It's just still something that it's kind of hard to watch, and I try not to get too much in the middle because then they kind of fight over my attention. But today I had to a little bit, honestly, because it was breaking my heart to see how they were, I don't know, being kind of mean to each other. Are you okay? Not you. He's been losing his hair. Can you see it? Like in the bridge of his, I'm gonna say nose. Can you see how he's losing the hair? He's losing hair behind his ear. But he is pretty persistent, so he eats, despite this meanie. You know, Tess is likely gonna be bigger than you, right? Yep. So, if you're asking for trouble, right now Taz is six months. And since he got hurt, he wants attention. But Rocky's being super, super mean. I'm sorry, baby boy. I'm sorry. There's probably something like this left, and even though the door, if they push it in, they just lock it even more. I like to put this as a second kind of、uh, insurance, but I think I'm gonna put it up on top now, from now on, just so they don't get to it. Of course, unless they jump. But even like this, yeah, they had to be a little silly to manage to put it the way. Well, because this entire thing was inside Tess's mouth. They won't be able to actually put it inside completely their mouth. So even though I've been worrying about Clara while I'm away. Because she has this ligaments that on the top they're completely gone, but as you go down towards the tail, it, it's hard. So I've been kind of confused about her and her ligaments. I've been worrying about her and making sure that she. I check her several times a day every time I come, but it's still. I wouldn't have thought about the idea of Taz getting in so much trouble. Now everyone is really quiet right now. And、I tried to comfort everyone with a little bit of pellets, of alpha pellets, and some fresh hay, because it was pretty traumatizing for all of them, and、um, it just breaks my heart when something like that happens, and they feel so helpless, and that kind of shows you the importance of checking on them every. So often, and even when you check, there's still a possibility that you're not going to be able to make it in time. To help them out of whatever they got into. So, anyways, that is today's video. 
we're gonna be working in a bunch of different projects tomorrow especially with my seeds I want to start a lot of um, seeds tomorrow not a variety but a lot of some of the same things like peas which is something that we eat a lot spinach lettuce all those things that are still okay to plant even if it gets cold again right now it's super nice we're in the upper 50s and it's will probably be in the 60s next week so it feels like spring but I know it's still not spring and it could come back I mean the cold can come back at any moment and mess with my seeds so even though I am itching to start my peppers and my tomatoes and stuff I have to make sure that I have the perfect setup to get started so I hope you join me tomorrow. If you're new, please remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new videos every single week. If you are new, please leave a comment and I would love to not only say hello, but if you have a channel, check out your channel and support each other. This is one of my favorite things to do is to keep up with all the smaller channels, homesteaders that are out there. And that really, if it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't get to know. So. If you don't mind, leave a comment down below to help this video be spread around on the YouTube world. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.